George Conway mocked Donald Trump as a nihilistic moron for risking years in prison by hoarding classified documents at his private resort at Mar-a-Lago. The former president appears to be headed toward a second indictment after he was charged with fraud in Manhattan, and panelists on MSNBC's Morning Joe discussed the latest developments in the quickening investigation by special counsel Jack Smith in the Mar-a-Lago case. There is a sense of real panic growing at Mar-a-Lago, reflected in Trump's true social tweets but also those even calmer heads in the room say, look, we're concerned, we feel like a charge could be coming. Trump's attorneys met Monday with officials at the Department of Justice to argue against an indictment, and conservative attorney George Conway said that showed an indictment was likely imminent. We are approaching the very end, Conway said. I kept hearing this earworm in my head as I was coming to the studio this morning. This is it. Make no mistake. We're getting down to the final strokes of this race. And what's clearly really remarkable about it is that of all the things that this man has done, eight decades of lying and cheating and stealing, this case, this document's case, is probably the easiest, shortest, simplest, and yet carries the most severe penalties, likely penalties, of any of the cases, any of the legal issues that he's ever faced. Now people will say, you know, he really, in a just world, he would go to jail for what he did on January 6th, the weeks approaching January 6th, Conway added. And I kind of agree with that. But for this man who is basically a nihilistic moron, for him to go to jail potentially for a long time, these Espionage Act charges bring very heavy sentences to potentially go to jail for something so pointless and silly and useless as keeping these documents is actually kind of fitting. 